All right, first, before we dive into this review, I wasn't exactly sure how to do these reviews uh, because each Toxic Avenger movie really differs in quality due to each film having different budget and production restraints. Uh, for example, the first film was produced for 500,000 while the second one was at 2.5 million. So there's a lot of difference there. So I went to you guys on social media and asked if I should give each movie its own exclusive review or combine parts one and two into one video and parts three and four in a second video, along with listing off all the special features because this box set is stacked to the brim. And you guys voted to give each movie its own comparison review. So remember, you asked for this. So stay tuned for parts two, three, and four in different videos, along with running down the list of special features. Now, there is an issue um, that's been found with the third movie of the third disc, and that is an encoding issue with the playback. Some people say that it just freezes, while others are saying that there's no playback at all. Um, I do have a lot more information on that that I'm going to discuss in part three, so stay tuned for that. And I'm, I think I'm going to be releasing all four of these videos at once. So if you want to check out all the information on that and how to get a replacement disc, go check out that video. Now, between 2009 and 2015, the four movies arrived on Blu-ray, including this four Blu-ray movie collection with the new, new HD transfers, or so we thought. Uh, they were very mediocre, weak transfers at best, with numerous issues, including a picture that was overly warm or hot that, from what I remember, was never on any other home media release. And it really harms the quality of these movies with this overly warm uh, tones to it, uh, where it ruins the intended visual style of the filmmakers. We're going to get more into that later during the actual review. Well, nine years later, in 2023, Troma has joined the 4K UHD market with the Toxic Avenger saga. Now, each film does include the X-rated, or now known as the unrated director's cuts, with a new 4K restoration from the original 35mm negative, HDR10 grading, no Dolby Vision on these, and the accurate theatrical ratio of 185 to 1. Now, the restoration work was handled by Vinegar Syndrome and produced by the man himself, Lloyd Kaufman, because he wanted to ensure that this time around the color grading remained faithful to his original vision. Also, let's take just a quick minute and take a look at this box set. Look at that artwork. I love this artwork. This box set is just gorgeous. Uh, this, all the titles and the uh, artwork is all embossed, so you can really feel it out. <laughs> and on the back as well, the titles are embossed. And uh, each one does have the original poster artwork on the disc. Now, the only complaint I have about this is... The box. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. It's already kind of ruined there. It's a very look at it. See, look. Uh, let's see if I can see. It's a very, very flimsy box. Uh, this is easily going to get damaged. Sit even just sitting on the shelf. I've had it on my table waiting to this review, and it's already being worn. So for the amount of money that you would spend for this, you would think that they would produce a much nicer, rigid box set, and not just some flimsy cardboard. That's the only issue I really have with this box set. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Let's dive into 1984 with the one that started it all, the Toxic Avenger with the 4K UHD, and see if it's worth upgrading from your original Blu-ray. And also stay tuned after the review for a rundown of all the special features on this because this thing is stacked. The Toxic Avenger on 4K is truly impressive. It has a fantastic cleanup job, only cleaning up age-related wear and tear found on the negative from storage. And I want to stress this point. 
while still completely retaining the classic trauma, down and gritty, low budget look and feel that many of us love, which honestly I think gives the movie a lot more charm. The color reproduction is absolutely extraordinary here, setting this as a major night and day difference from start to finish, and most importantly, bringing the movie back to its original intended color grading. A great example here is when Toxie runs outside onto the street. For some reason, the Blu-ray has this deep, warm, sepia-type filter to it that was applied for whatever reason and was not approved by Kaufman. The 4K UHD corrects this back to its midday look. Another example is the kid's jacket riding the bike at night. And, and these are just a couple examples of how this 4K brings the movie back to Kaufman and Hearst's original intended vision of the movie. And this is also where the HDR10 grading really comes into play. It really helps in this department with contrast that's dialed in just right to bring a brightly richer image, displaying all those varied comic book-like colors. Primary colors deliver strong reds looking richer with bold bright reds and deeper grims and blood reds. Uh, greens especially looking outstanding with a neonish toxic greens and blues are cooler looking and more natural while other colors such as pinks purples oranges are likewise better resolved along with all the earthy tones uh, a really nice improvement here is with the urban dilapidated city of tromaville Saturation is also dialed in just right, pumping more life and punch to the image, bringing Lloyd Kaufman's original comic book style back to life with colors that are handled and balanced precisely. Skin tones are also more natural looking and warmer, whereas on the Blu-ray, they've had very palish skin tones. The entire color palette is just vastly superior over the faded, duller, muted colors on the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray was also plagued with poorly resolved black levels with a lot of crushed areas, along with some slight bright blacks, depending on the scene. Now, the black levels are retained here on this 4K UHD with much, much better resolved blacks, and this really helps in drawing out more detail, more information in the image, and also some colors that was all completely lost on the Blu-ray. Detail and textures are much stronger here on the 4K. The higher resolution gives more lines in the image, creating clearer and sharper, or as sharp as these low-budget 80s lenses can handle. Especially with Toxie, the extreme makeup design showcases all the textures and deformity, along with his acid burn clothes and fringes that's all incredibly more revealing here on this 4K. You, you did not see any of this on the Blu-ray. A lot of this detail and textures were completely lost. There were also a tremendous amount of details and objects sprinkled throughout the production design from rust, litter, uh, graffiti, all looking visually sharper, along with details in the background. While on the Blu-ray, all of this looked very obscured or slightly blurry in different areas. It, it depended on the shot. And the bitrate uh, ranges from 67 topping out around 98 to 100 Mbps. And grain structure is nicely resolved with nice 35 millimeter grain field and no grain management was applied here. Unlike on the Blu-ray that was scrubbed creating a very flat appearance that looked awful. All right, now we're going to dive into the audio presentation of this 4K UHD, and it does include a new lossless 2.0 DTS track, which is a step up from the previous released Blu-ray. However, still, even with an upgraded audio mix, there's only so much that can be done with the audio. Again, remember, this film was shot on a very shoestring budget, meaning they used what they had, which means the audio recording obviously just was not the best, to say the least. And while this new track with sound effects does sound more sonic and dynamic, there are still notable problems, uh, especially with dialogue. The while it's clearer than the Blu-ray, and even screaming matches is handled better than on the Blu-ray, there is still this inherited hissing and some background humming. Uh, this is very noticeable, especially with the voiceover. So while this definitely is not a demo-worthy audio disc, it's still very suitable for the type of movie this is. All right, so my score for Troma's 4K USD presentation of Toxic Avenger, I'm giving the video a resounding 5 out of a 5. It is a huge, major night and day difference between the previous Blu-ray. As for the audio, I'm not going to down a peg to a 4 out of a 5. 
All right, but now I wanna hear your thoughts on this. When you look at the differences here between the Blu-ray and the new 4K UHD, which do you like better? Head over to the comment section and let me know. All right, well, if you stuck around this long, then obviously you wanna know all the special features, the supplemental material included on this 4K UHD disc. So here's the rundown. So we have an intro with Lloyd Kaufman at the Trauma Studios where he discusses restoring the director's cut in 4K. We also have two audio commentary tracks with Lloyd Kaufman and the second track is with the cast. We also have five different interviews with the cast and crew, but I think the three best are with the actress, Jennifer Baptist, uh, where she talks about the production, uh, the nude scenes, and also her role in future trauma movies such as Class of Newcomb High, and also with actor Mitch Cohan, who played Toxie, as he recalls his experience working under the suffocating layers of heavy makeup and why he chose not to come back for the sequels. And lastly, we have an interview with producer Michael Hurst, who is very rarely gives interviews. He's notorious for not giving interviews. Uh, so it was really interesting uh, hearing him being interviewed where he recalls how Toxic Avengers saved trauma from financial ruin and the production. But I have to say, the worst of all this is that we have a very, very cringy featurette with actor Mark Torgi uh, and two paid models models and he shows off props from the original movie and gives some really cringy painfully unfunny banter with the models it's it's pretty sad to see we also have a featurette of 40 years of trauma studios and lastly we have the theatrical trailers of all four movies all right, guys. Well, thanks again for hanging out with me as we discuss the 4K UHD presentation of the Toxic Avenger. Remember, stick around for the Toxic Avenger Part 2 as we compare it to the previous release Blu-ray. As always, guys, keep physical media alive. We'll see you next time.